Okay, welcome guys. Um, not gonna talk too much as uh, I'm not really a talker, but um, welcome to the pattern. And uh, this is what we are uh, trying to achieve uh, and uh, the final product. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, it's well built, uh, has a good look, has a good shape. Um, it took a bit of time to get it to this uh, point, um, but here we go. So this is what we're this is what we're doing. So um, without further ado, let's uh, let's get on with it. Okay. So first, you'll receive uh, when you get your pattern. Uh, this is the overview. So there's the the piece that will sew onto the inside uh, of the uh, brim. Uh, of course, here is where the rim itself will sew onto the brim as well. Um, so we'll complete that uh, quite soon. Um, and then there's the, the gussets, uh, the two side panels um, that will obviously sew onto each other. Um, and then there's the middle. Uh, these two pieces will actually connect before um, so you cut the uh, piece out. Um, and then, um, of course, we will uh, knock out all the holes and stuff like that. So this will actually become one piece. And onto this piece will be sewn these two pieces. And then onto them will be sewn these. So I've had a couple of people asking me, um, how I do the sizing because I provide one pattern uh, this is at a 58 centimeter uh, this is standard this is my size um, we what I do is I calculate and you can see here uh, calculations uh, I've taken a range above two centimeters and below uh, by actually uh, five centimeters uh, is what it is um, and uh, here is the initial, as you can see here, it's a 58 centimeter pattern uh, at 100% in your print. Uh, make sure that it's printing at 100%. And to do that, uh, you just quickly check your uh, measurements uh, and make sure that it is printed exactly at 100%. Then what we will do is if you are looking for a 58 centimeter cap, um, you would want to print this pattern at 98.28%. And this can be done in Adobe. There's various other programs that allow for you to uh, change the print size or how, at what percentage you want to print the, uh, the page at. I would then print this off. And here you will see that once it's printed, this box should be equivalency or equivalent to 4.9. Uh, if it's 57 centimeter, 56 would be 4.8. 55, as you can see, you can go through it all. And these here are the print percentages that you would need to print your pattern off at. Um, so before you print the rest of the pattern off, do this and check it and make sure that this is exactly what you want. Here we can see the various uh, the various pieces. Uh, these have been marked, and you will see here on some of the pieces will have corresponding marks on it. Uh, for instance, P two. This is the left hand side. These pieces here, the brim and the piece that will sew onto the brim, will actually be inverted. Um, because I'm using four millimeter veg tan leather, um, this enables you to be able to wet mold this piece into shape. Um, it's, uh, it's probably the best for. I'm using uh, here, you can see it, uh, the black. Uh, this is this shape uh, exactly, and it has uh, already been uh, dyed. And uh, here you can see, of course, it would have been cut out this way uh, and it has been inverted. Uh, this will happen the same because it will fold upwards and you want the, the nice side 
or not the rough side or the raw side to be seen. So uh, it needs to be upside down. So these will be inverted. Uh, and here you will see, um, of course, this being the left, this will then turn over to the left side. Yeah? Um, so just go through your pattern uh, and uh, make sure that you have all the pieces corresponding with, with your overview. For this pattern, I'm going for a darker blue. Uh, this is two and a half millimeter new buck uh, veg tanned leather, uh, as you can see. Uh, when you're making your cap, uh, the pattern is designed for a two millimeter leather. So here we have each individual part as you can see and I've roughly cut the leather to suit um, and what we will do now is of course um, punch the holes and cut the cut the pieces you will see here these holes these four holes here are relatively close together when it comes to punching with the one and a half millimeter punch uh, which these holes are actually set at so what i would suggest to do with these holes is i would suggest to slightly off center on the outside with the two outer holes and the two inner holes um, definitely would suggest instead of a 1.5 millimeter punch I would go with a one millimeter punch um, and there you can center them giving you space in the middle of course um, as well as space between the two uh, holes on the outside jump um, and this i have done now with another cap and uh, that i've made and it works extremely well uh, just anybody who may think that this is too close Okay, another quick uh, step or uh, tip is before we start to punch these holes out here, um, I would suggest strongly using a little bit of beeswax and just rubbing it onto these holes uh, over the uh, punch lines. Uh, this helps so much uh, with, uh, with getting the punch through the leather one it helps to slide it through um, and uh, removing the punch afterwards it just uh, comes out and uh, everything's a lot smoother uh, it will save you a lot of time um, and uh, in the end make the actual uh, process a lot uh, smoother and easier <music> First thing that we need to do is uh, sew this piece, uh, the rim, uh, together along those holes here. Uh, so of course we're going to use a cross stitch. Uh, it's up to you if you want it to, if you want the crosses to come on this side or on the back where you don't see it. Uh, that's up to you. Um, personal preference. Next 
next thing we want to do is we do want to connect these two together. Uh, if you try to sew first the, the brim to the cap itself, um, then this part here will be uh, in the end covered, um, making it really difficult to get the needles through um, and uh, sew them. So the easiest is to sew it now uh, and get it done. Um, you can't see it, but what I've done is I've marked each of these, uh, the middle here, uh, and it's basically the 22nd uh, hole. What I've done here uh, is uh, I've done it exactly the same. This one here is the middle, uh, and I've marked here the 21st and there the 21st, uh, so that I know that I don't actually have to look too, diffi uh, too much. Uh, I can line this up uh, and uh, begin to sew uh, basically immediately. Um, and uh, then the other side will line up. going to now sew this piece in. Remembering counting one, two, three, uh, this will then line up uh, in this fashion uh, and we'll come back to the point where it'll have one, two, three, Okay, the next step 
is going to be building in these pieces. Now it doesn't matter how you'd like to do it. It's up to you. You have the choice. You can either sew uh, these pieces on first, so the two sides together, or you can do it the way that I do it uh, and sew the sides onto the onto the top uh, of the of the cap and then sew the two sides in at a later uh, at the last step basically of sewing it together of course before we do any of that we need to finish the the back here uh, into shape um, when you sewing these holes here just be a little bit more careful um, the first one doesn't have to be tight I would suggest that it remains uh, fairly loose uh, semi loose and then you can start to tighten it up of course we are going to want to sew this uh, together okay so again do your measurements we will be using the middle row so first the middle row and then we will bend this over and close on that outer row and this inner row it will only be sewn until they're closed this slight piece here will be a little bit raised but it's not so bad uh, and then it will uh, and you'll just uh, finish that off just to give it a bit of a look now if you don't like this piece the small little triangle you can just carefully cut out but make sure you don't take out too much that it affects where your punch holes are becomes a little bit more clear as to what we are doing there uh, then the next step is that we want to fold these two pieces over uh, and so then both one on this side one on that side so
see by yours, this is really starting to take shape. Uh, to finish the cap itself off, uh, we just need to sew in the sides. Um, so yeah, go ahead, get these two done uh, and then we'll get on with the rest. Now that we have the sides done, we can see that this is looking superb and uh, looking like uh, close to the finished product. Um, what I've done is I've included an inline. It doesn't need to be the case. Uh, on uh, the red one that I use, there isn't, and I don't mind that. Uh, this one is for a customer. Um, and he wanted to have uh, an inlay. So if you want to do an inlay, use the pattern um, and uh, you can cut out the pieces uh, and create the inlay um, with those pieces as well, okay? So uh, now for the final step, uh, we need to sew this, uh, the bill uh, and the rim onto the actual uh, cap itself. Um, now, we are going to start with these holes here and that hole there corresponds with this hole here and of course uh, there, uh, the inside there. So that's the way that I would like to sew it. Um, now for this to roll over, uh, we need to it's we have to think about this it's got to be something like this so we want these to be rolled over here so we have to sew this here okay so it's got to be that hole there um, and uh, this hole here and then get sewing and this will be first here one one two, three, and then we're going to start with this piece here, okay, with the actual uh, side. And this will bring it in so you don't see the uh, the bill over this side, uh, and it's not a big lump. Um, it will actually flatten it out um, over here. So uh, do your measurements. Now you want to do the measurement around the actual cap itself, uh, and then... Uh, we're gonna get sewing.
rest at the moment becomes easy until we get to about halfway. Then we need to fold it over. Once we fold it over, then the space that we're sewing will become smaller uh, and make it more difficult. But it's only halfway until we get to here again. Once we get to here, then we need to transition over. And once we transition over into the rim, then it's a clean sew all the way around until we're done. pretty close so we don't want to go too much further maybe even maximum this uh, to here otherwise it become too difficult to fold this over Okay, so we're about halfway and uh, we need to now flip this over, otherwise it will become very difficult to get it over. Uh, so it's just simply like that. And there, as you can see, um, we're starting to create that shape of the that rolled edge there. So this is where it gets a little bit more difficult to sew. So uh, everything is now on the inside of the cap, um, but you can sort of leave it open and then working with the one at the bottom, the thread at the bottom, thread it like this. them tight and then what I found works best is if you just give that a tug just to tighten these looser threads and there you can see them tightening there and each one you're gonna need to do the same thing Once we get past here, then it will become, then it will be easy. This is the, the hardest last part.
Okay, so there are now one, two, three holes. All right. So the string that's inside must come through the third last hole. This one here, we are going to push through that third last hole. Okay, and then it will go through the bottom, the one from the top, so that we can now So upwards. Okay, remember there's the last hole here so you need to come through there and through that last hole okay to switch over when we come through this last hole we will then go through here. So we'll come through the top, through that last hole, into the peak, into the brim, and push it through the here instead of out the side here. So it'll be... One, through there, and through here. That there has enabled us to now transition on this side. Okay, so now we will be pushing it through the brim and the edge, and we're going to roll that edge over to create or to close this off here. Okay, so there's that. This one that's on the inside now needs to... This is where the difficult is. Come through here. Okay. 
and and now through here and that enables this to come through now we have them so we can now sew around so this part here you really need to consider or think about uh, how it's going to transition from the peak uh, the duck bill to say into the 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 bill itself the peak here and then through to the um the rim so now you will find that it should be fairly simple It is possible to finish on this one and close it off and then start fresh with a new string, with a new thread uh, just to go around uh, here. So it is a possibility that you can uh, of course uh, have a look at. guys uh, for for your build um, as you can see by the two caps of course this one is the red one and that one is the the blue one that we've just made um, <clears throat> they're pretty decent looking um, flat caps and uh, yeah I'm extremely happy with the outcome of these and I hope you guys are as well um, hope you enjoy wearing them um, a tip for you guys is that when you first wear your cap, if you feel any pressure points and stuff like that, you can of course uh, adjust the the shape uh, slightly uh, to fit a bit a bit better. Um, and if you do make a cap that is slightly too big. Um, even up to a centimeter, two centimeters bigger, then just contact me uh, and I can tell you how to be able to adjust that without changing the look of the actual cap. <clears throat> so again, thanks very much. Um, please share your work um, on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Um, there's links and stuff like that as well. And please leave a review. Um, it's always uh, handy. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see being made or have a pattern for, then by all means, uh, comment, send me a, a message on, on, again, Facebook or any of the social medias, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Um, again, thanks again, and uh, enjoy. Ciao.